to celebrate our story. And thank you for the tool that Stanley is providing, and thank you for his team. I pray for your anointing in this session, that the appropriate and right things will be said so that people can be edified and built and encouraged, especially in this very difficult season. And even allow what we say today, bless even generations from now. I thank you for granting me as an individual grace and the strength and the ability to have a ministry and for showing us favor on this ministry. And for that, we give you thanks. Bless this day. Bless our deliberations and our discussions. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Bishop. All right. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? My name is Stan, and I am really excited. I am so excited, and I think the word will be, I am pumped. And today, I am welcoming you to what we call Life Transforming Moments where legends get to share their stories. And today I have Bishop Tudor Bismarck. Welcome Bishop Tudor Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you Stan, it's an honor to be with you today. <clears throat> uh, it's, it's amazing, you know, when, when we observe from a distance, it's not everybody who gets the privilege of meeting <laughs> Bishop Tudor Bismarck in as much as they want to, because you're a busy man. <laughs> and we get to observe from a distance and we get to see all the success. And some people, May, may just think this is not fathomable, you know, this possibly cannot be done, you know, how can one attain such greatness? And because of that, I'd like to believe that their principles, their principles and their values that have shaped who Bishop Tudor Bismarck is. And I, I think that would be the first starting point for me, especially to figure out what are these values, what are these principles that have made Bishop Tudor Bismarck the man he is today? Well, I think firstly, uh, everybody needs to understand that it's a journey. When you start out, you don't realize it's a journey. And many things that we have attained and have become generally have been uh, a wonderful accident. We just happen to do the right things at the right time and at the right place. You know, sometimes people do the wrong things at the wrong time and they become known for the wrong things they did. When we started, we were just kids, <clears throat> very few to no mentors. My dad wasn't really uh, a developed Christian, let alone minister. And I left home at a very young age. And many things we stumbled on were literally that, stumbling on things. And God gave us good sense. And we did the right thing, not realizing it was the right thing. I think the important thing is to know that it's a process, life is a process, and the stages in life uh, are markers, you know, from single years to married years, becoming a parent, uh, even education, uh, ministry, the various stages, all of that is a process. And so along the way, there are what I call the have-to-haves. What you have to have in ministry is, number one, you have to have the spirit of excellence you have to have integrity. And uh, I think more so in terms of what you have to have is an anointing and knowing how that anointing works. Uh, my prayer every day from when I was 12 years old is the prayer for wisdom. You have to have wisdom. And so James said, if you like it, ask God for it. Yeah. It's available. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so even in terms of values, Many of those things we generally stumble along. One of our values is, for example, education, family, kingdom. Those developed as the journey went. And uh, staying true to that uh, is, is very essential. So one has to stay focused. And I think focus has become the, the central part of what we, uh, what we have become and the, the road in leading to what we have become. Well, thank you so much, uh, Bishop. Uh, those are really, really powerful <coughs> illustrations. And I love what you said when you say that there were necessary accidents, the accidents that happened, and those accidents actually made you sure. <laughs> into the man that you are. And I think a lot of people are probably, you know, you know they're, they, they're probably too sensitive about things, but I guess maybe you just have to relax and let God, you know, and then you'll sure. flow and God allows, it, allows you to, to go on this particular journey. 